everybody, it's Victoria Marie back with another scrapbook process video and today I am doing a layout called Everyday Life. I am taking this calendar paper, which is on the back of what I'm just showing you, <laughs> and I'm going to make a layout that reflects sort of the everyday things that go along, that go on here in, in my household. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm trimming up some photos. I resize these photos using an app on my iPhone that goes with my Canon Selfie mini printer or small printer and photo printer rather, and um, I actually don't know what size these are, but I'm going to trim some of them. The idea was that they would go fit into the boxes, but I didn't trim them that small, so I'm going to have to cut some of them. And they're just everyday photos or just things that kind of happen randomly throughout this month. Up, oh, and then there's a picture of the naked baby doll on my craft table. <laughs> the baby dolls in our house are constantly naked, so of course I had to add that on there as well. And so what I'm doing is I'm trimming down these photos and I'm finding a spot on the page for them. And the, my idea is that, well, one, I really didn't have anything planned for this, but all that, all to say that I wanted to use this paper really, really badly. And so I held out on it. So I'm going to take some of the cut aparts and the die cuts that come with the kit. And once I get my photos positioned the way that I want them, I'm going to embellish this with, um, the die cuts and the cut aparts that I have. And I kind of wanted to sort of make it like a, a journal style. Um, I used to just randomly journal in notebooks and things when I was a teenager and um, with no rhyme, reason, or purpose or design. And every now and then you've got to do one of those layouts where you just put something on a page and you move on with life. So I numbered the calendar with the days for October and now I'm going to cut apart the exclusive um, cut aparts that came with the Scraptastic kit. So everything I'm using today is from the Scraptastic kit. I will be using some things that are from my stash, just a small amount. They do some wonderful cut aparts and this came, this particular cut apart came with this Life Noted kit that is their pocketed um, scrapbook kit. You buy separately from the main kit and it's fabulous. So I'm going to cut all these pieces out so I can have them to use and I'm moving those to the side. And I'm deciding where I want to position the photos again in relation to the die cuts and things. And so I put a picture down of my little girl. And then, of course, I had to put a picture down of all my scrapbooking things that I get every month. That's the, the picture of my Scraptastic kit. I get that every month without fail and very much enjoy that. So I'm going to move some of these embellishments around and I'm just getting started. And at this point, I'm trying to decide what I want to do, what pictures do I want to go where. And some of the pictures don't particularly correspond with the exact date on the calendar, but they all occurred in October at some point. <laughs> so it's just going to go down. So I'm pulling some bits and pieces and I'm making little clusters on, on the photos and around the photos. I'm going to take my tiny attacher and I'm going to staple that particular um, cut apart on the photo. I'm looking around there on my carousel for my tiny attacher. And I think I've mentioned this in the video before, but I didn't really care for the tiny attacher when I first learned about it. And then I thought, well, I might as well take a coupon and buy it and see what it's all about. And I love it. I can't live without it. Alrighty, and so I'm going to back that particular photo with another piece of that cut apart. And the idea is not to think too much, but just to put things where you think it, it looks good and feels good and just go with it and don't overthink it. So I attached that little banner thing onto that photo with my tiny attacher as well. And I'm beginning to commit to photo placement here. I'm holding a picture there. Um, well, before I just switched the clip, but I was holding a picture of me and my new fancy pattern pants that look like pajama pants that are all the rage. <laughs> so I decided to jump on that bandwagon. They're very comfortable. And I can wear them to work, so that's great. All right, so continuing to move the photos around the page and deciding where I want it to be. I didn't want it, I did not want a photo in every box. I wanted some space that I can journal around the photos, and you'll see me do that later in the video, as well as add some embellishments there. This was a really fun layout to make. I like it when I don't have a plan and things just kind of come out. And also, too, I was cooking and trying to entertain my kid, and then my husband came home, and <laughs> so... This layout lends very well to me having to, and you will. I will have to start and stop um, 
a little bit in the process of making this particular layout. It took me about an hour <laughs> between all the all the stuff that was going on at home to do it. Something like this would probably normally take me maybe 30 minutes. I'm using some Tombow Mono Adhesive, one of my favorites, carbonated adhesive. I should learn my lesson right by now and use the repositionable <laughs> adhesive because I'm always moving stuff around and then I rip my paper. But I like I I really really, really like that uh, permanent adhesive. Okay, so I'm going to commit, and now I am getting ready to embellish the page, and I pull out a tag that says forever or for the archives, and a label that comes with the inf infra pack with the kit, and I write fancy on that label, and then there's another little piece there that says home sweet home that I'm putting a picture putting on the picture of my kiddo and my and my spouse playing play-doh together common activity in our home when you have a four-year-old and I really want to use that strip and it should just not work but I try so I pull out some clips um, and these are from Freckled Fawn and they're so cute and you can't they come with a set of I think it was uh, maybe six, five clips, and they're very thin. So if you get these clips, just be careful because they do bend because they're backed with adhesive for them to stay on the packaging. So I have this heart clip that I'm putting by a picture of my desk at work, and it's messy. I, at that point, my desk is usually not messy. I'm a trainer for a nonprofit, and um, I'm in the middle of training mode, and so my desk tends to get pretty, pretty messed up when I'm trying to get prepped for training. All right, and so I take, the kit comes with some exclusive, I want to say they're acetate stars, and I'm going to back three of those photos with those stars, and you're going to barely see it. If you saw the, this layout in real life, then you would notice it. It does add some subtle texture to the page, and I'm assuming I could have backed it with something or, or inked it or did something to make it stand out, but um, this was one of those layouts and one of those times where I didn't I didn't have a whole lot of opportunity to do a lot of fancy things was you know trying to get dinner on the table while doing this and I'm gonna show you that star hopefully you can see that they're really cool I've got two of them left so hopefully I can use it in another layout I'm gonna put that behind a photo of my daughter my mom at a, we had dinner at cheesecake factory earlier this month to celebrate my mom's birthday she turned 66 and she also retired so this was a pretty big month for her so i'm pulling out another one of these die cut banners and i'm going to glue that on a picture of me being silly and my mom photobombing me in the back <laughs> she was cooking dinner one night and then um, i put down a um, a bit of the cutout um, a little piece that says today on that little green flag there at the bottom. I'm looking at some Teresa Collins stickers from the, oh dear, Nine & Co collection and deciding if I want to use some of those on the page. And I really, really like these stickers. I love the colors. So I pulled out a sticker and it says, um, my happy. And so I cut a little bit of that sticker to put at the top of the page of the picture of my, my husband and my daughter. Then I pull out some enamel stars, and I am obsessed with enamel. You will see this a lot on my pages. And these enamel stars are by Chick and Nitty. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Chick and Nitty, or CNN Crafts, looks like what it says on the packaging. The paper I'm using, by the way, is from the Chamille Lane line from American Crafts, and it's called Hopper. And it's a pretty cool paper pack. We got several pages pattern papers from that collection. All right, so I'm looking at my flare, my, and my uh, wood veneer options, and Scraptastic does a terrific job at exclusive flare and wood veneer designs. It's just, it's so much fun to play around with these things. And so I'm moving those around the page, deciding where I want them to be. And for me, I love flare, but too much flare just kind of gets in the way, in my opinion. And I have a lot of flare. That's one thing I do have a lot of that I probably need to use. And so I'm putting down um, Corkboard Star. I wasn't really big on cork when I first start seeing it arrive in different packs and things, but I'm, I'm on board now. <laughs> I'm on that gravy train. 
And then I put down a wood veneer star. Love some wood veneers. Um, and I'm kind of moving those around the page and then I decide that's good. Then I grab some of the rub-ons from the kit and I don't remember the manufacturer of this particular rub-on, but it says enjoy every moment. I think I may have thrown the packaging away. <laughs> I do that in my haste of cleaning. And the um, words that are on the page, the love and today, are from the Heidi Swap embellishment pack that came with the kit. And it's her scripted handwriting, and I think it's lovely. All right, so now I'm going to do a little bit of stamping on the page, and I grab the exclusive stamp kit that comes with the um, This Life Note It kit, or the Pocket It Scrapbooking kit. You per can purchase, purchase separately from the main scrapbooking kit. Unless I am recording this late at night and I am tired, so y'all have to excuse me. <laughs> it's been a long week. All right, so I'm going to stamp this on here. And I inked up that stamp with some Prima ink, chalk ink, whoops, chalk ink. And it's pastel green. It's a quick dry fluid chalk ink. And it's so, it's so juicy and lovely. And I absolutely love it, but it doesn't show up very well on the page. So I'm going to re-ink it in black. Then I take a phrase that comes with that same little stamp kit and it says uh, pick of the week and I'm stamping that around the page. I love stamping on my scrapbook pages and I encourage all of you if it's not something that you do regularly to give it a shot. I usually I don't make a lot of cards but I do love stamps and so I will stamp a lot on my scrapbook pages. And that just worked out very well for that particular layout. And I'm using some VersaFine ink for that. I like to use VersaFine when I'm stamping phrases or things that have letters, very thin letters. All right, so I'm shopping that flare around and it says, this, love this place. And I'm putting that by a picture of my office because I do love what I do for a living. I used to work in the corporate world as an HR manager and I um, am now in the nonprofit world and I make a fraction of what I used to make, but I absolutely love what I do. It's very rewarding. Alrighty, and so I've got this other flare that says 10, and I'm going to put that right by the picture of me, because why not? And then I'm going to get my Chamille Lane um, journaling pen, and I think this is a turquoise color. And the cool thing about this is I'm just going to make little notes all throughout my little layout calendar here. And I'm journaling and writing just like I normally would when I used to keep a regular calendar like this. I keep my calendar on my iPhone now, but on my regular calendar, I would just go and make notes of different things. And so I'm journaling in that same fashion. And it reminds me of when I was um, in junior high and high school, I used to keep journals a lot. And I would put pictures and stickers and kind of journal around it. And that just kind of creating this layout kind of gave me that feeling. So I'm going to go ahead and commit to that um, stamp there. Um, and I, I re-inked the stamp in black and um, re-stamped it so it could show up, and I really like it. Then I'm going to take from the main kit a stamp that says lovely, and this was a scripted font kit, and it was it is beautiful. I think it's my favorite stamp set that I've gotten from Scraptastic thus far. And I'm going to stamp that three times so it looks like it's sort of fading out. And I'm going to pull out a roller date stamp from Heidi Swap, and it has kind of a scripted font and this is where it kind of messes up. Um, the font is really little <laughs> so you can't ink it too much and can't press down too much or else it'll smear and that's what it did but that's okay. I didn't want this to be perfect. Then I decided I'm going to pull out some of my Heidi Swap. I'm like all about Heidi Swap. Heidi Swap um, color shine and tinsel and I'm thinking it would add just the right amount of little dots on the page and I probably should have done this before I laid everything down but true to fashion I probably would have covered it up anyway. So I'm trying not to spritz or sprinkle too much to where it gets on the photos. Then I pull out some washi tape. And this washi tape is uh, turquoise and white stripes that I got from two peas in a bucket when, during their closing sale. I'm kind of missing them, but for those of us that were two, pea fan, two peas in a bucket fans, I, I really enjoyed shopping there, so I'm kind of sad they've closed. So I, I think that was an exclusive design to two peas now that I think about it. So I'm ripping up that washi, and I love using washi tape because it's so versatile. Now I'm going to um, put the the month at the bottom. I added a jack-o'-lantern picture. It's a picture of a little, little jack-o'-lantern pumpkin that we have here hanging around our house. And I'll probably replace that with a picture of my kiddo from Halloween. 
once Halloween comes around. And I'm going to spell out, I have to write, because I do put my font on backwards, <laughs> so I make sure I have enough room to put it on the page. And so I do have to write it out. You saw me do that just a minute ago to make sure that I'm spelling things right, because I'm the world's worst speller. I can't spell backwards. <laughs> so I'm putting down October, and it goes really cute next to that little picture of our, of a little pumpkin. And I'm sort of making the letters um, alternate a bit in, in terms of their orientation. So that gives it kind of some fun movement at the bottom. I'm considering putting some more stickers, and I will add a few more elements to the page that you'll see in the pictures. Um, but I go through my stash and I add some wood veneers and things like that. So here's a few close-ups. And there's the little bit of that script. I guess I could have used that as a title. Oh, well. There's my fancy pants that I got from um, Target and some more photos that I added on there. Just some everyday stuff. daughter at dance class, me trying on a dress for a fundraiser I went to this past weekend. And uh, I love doing these types of layouts. It just reminds me of just the simple things to enjoy about family and my everyday life. And it just would be really fun to look back on years from now. My kiddo and her daddy, us some fuzzy socks, because we love fuzzy socks. It doesn't get that cold where we're from, so... <laughs> All right, and some pictures are coming up. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out my blog, and I will see you soon.